Look at that. That's spooky, that. What? The only thing that hasn't been peppered with bullets. A smiling orphan. God, that is spooky. Take no notice, Mum. Don't let them upset you. Yeah. Right, come on, missus. Let's get you sorted, eh? Thank you. Sign of Bev Ormick. Oh, hey, look, I'm glad I've caught you on your own. I wanted to apologise. What for? Well, in case you thought I was coming on a bit strong the other day, I didn't mean to offend her anything. Oh, you didn't. I didn't realise. Realise what? Well, I sort of assumed you and your husband were separate, or more or less separated, so I'm sorry if I overstepped the mark there. I hope we can still be friends. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, good. I don't think it's going to be quite so easy to get back on speaking terms with your father-in-law, though. He gave me a right mouthful. What, Eddie did? Oh, yeah, about how strong your marriage is, rock solid and everything. I thought he was going to hit me, actually, but... Well, he had every right, didn't he, to be miffed, and... I'm sorry I got it so wrong, and I'm really glad that things are so good for you and Carl. <laughs> I was trying to keep you out of it, you know. Your dad worships you. Just couldn't bear the thoughts of you knowing, you know, that he was dealing. God, this is all my fault. It's all my fault. You could have been killed. Dealing? My dad dealing? Oh my God. First you tell me he's a smack addict. Now he's a dealer. You mean dealing drugs? And you knew. Oh, so this was drugs, what was it? Like some sort of vendetta? Well, <laughs> your dad didn't know. Gary! Gary! Gary's in on this! Oh, my God. Yeah. Of course, I must have been blind. You know, all that money's been thrown round the, the, the strip to Holland. You kept this a secret from me. You didn't even tell me what my own husband was up to. I didn't believe this. Mum, how could you do that to me? I was trying to protect you. By keeping me in the dark, by putting me and Kylie at risk. Sorry. That's it. I'm leaving him. I'm not spending one minute with a drug dealer. Well, he only got involved, you know, when he moved in here. Oh, so my dad got him into it, did he? This is the new job, isn't it? And what about you, Mum? Are you in it as well? Oh, Liz. Oh, no. You just keep quiet and let it happen. You let it get to this. How could you do that, Mum? How could you live with it? Despise yourself. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Why not? Every word of it's the truth. I should have thrown your dad out weeks ago as soon as I found out. But you couldn't. Because you love him. And when's that ever stopped me before, eh? Don't make excuses for me, Lens. The reason I let her get this far has got nothing to do with love. I got greedy. That's the truth. I got the taste of money in my mouth. And I liked it too much. Oh, no. What? Two 
postcard, one from Dad in Mandalay. Hotel terrible, freezing to death. Your mother has finally gone mad. I refuse to sail down the Irrawaddy in some leaking tug, Dad. And one from Mum. Have abandoned your father in Mandalay, where he complains about everything and will doubtless shortly cause an international incident. Splendid trip. Lots of crocodiles. Love, Mum. <laughs> Part of the course, isn't it? <laughs> Look, it's him again, that actor. Now, I've told her no overnight guests. I've warned her. Now then, this must look familiar to you all this, eh? Pardon? You know, when the beach got raked with all the machine gun bullets and you got one in the leg. <laughs> well, it's television, it's not real life. Hey, a lot of scared users in this area, a lot of cokeheads flushing the toilets this morning. Uh, excuse me. <sighs> you know, he's not a bit like he is on the telly, is he? No. You got a load of birthday cards there, eh, mate. Yeah. Again? I thought it was your birthday last week. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was. Well, it wasn't. It's today. You see, the kids got the dates mixed up, so as far as they're concerned, it was. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Two Berties, like the Queen. Yeah, yeah. Well, nothing from Mandy. I'll probably come tomorrow, mate. Ah, she's probably too busy to remember. Is that Jimmy in the back there? Look at this. Can you believe this? It's Jimmy Cork, he'll run. They've run him out. Well, I've seen everything now. They give you a slap on the back, a cup of coffee, and they send you home. Do you, no wonder the streets aren't safe anymore. I'm going to write to someone about this. Hey, Maxie, five minutes at yours, mate, OK? Five minutes. We'll bring the biscuits, Pat. If the police can't control the streets, then it's up to us. It wasn't me that went out shooting at people in the beds. Of course they let us go. Where's Linz? Upstairs. Linz, I'm back. Hey, we're the innocent party here, love. They've got nothing on us. Get the kettle on, buddy, and parched. Linz, open the door. You better get used to it, Gary. No one round here is talking to us anymore. Carl's my son, and I don't like to see another man... So th you tell Terry Sullivan to back off. You tell us some lies about the state of my marriage. Who are you to tell anyone to back off? Y you don't like to see another man what? It was the way he was going on about you. I, I couldn't stand it. I suppose I really fancied him. You don't, do you? No, I don't, but that's not the point. Well, he was going on about your, your smile and your, and your eyes. It was all so, so intimate. I was so bloody jealous, sir. I thought I was going to land him one. What do you... I couldn't bear the thought of him touching you. We shouldn't be talking like this. This is dangerous. Anyone in? It's me. All right, sir. Is there anything? All right, sir. Just to let you know that there's going to be an extraordinary meeting of the Residents Association at the Farnham's in a couple of minutes. It's about the shooting. What shooting? Haven't you heard? Oh, God, yeah. And the Corkle's house was damaged some uh, drugs vendetta. Well, is anyone else? Is, is Ali all right? I should have been there. Look on the bright side. Could have been cracker. Wish it had been. She was a lovely little cat. Never is anyone. I know, I know, but she was only a cat. She may have been only a cat to you, but I loved her. Chat. Not the first day, Jimmy. Who's going to be next day? Who's going to be sitting innocently at the window next time? Me? Your daughter? Your granddaughter? You turn up. I've only just heard. Are you all right, love? So, takes a shotgun, does it, to get you around here? Haven't seen sight and the sound of you for over a week. No, well... Sarah must be making you very comfy in that flat. What are you implying? <laughs> Not implying anything. I'm just saying, where have you been? Lee misses you. Yeah, is he OK? Did this gun business scare him? He was out when it happened. Out? What time is this, then? Oh, I've 12 this, I think. What was he doing out at that time? Well, I've no idea he'd gone out. And why not? 
So where were you then? Oh, don't start. Down the bingo, I suppose. Where? Oh, God, Rose. I tried not to. I only went for a couple of hours. I was back by ten. I thought he was safely tucked up in his bed, if I'd known. And you still claim you're not addicted? <sighs> Listen, Rose, I've been talking to this guy from Gammon On. I'm not going at. I'm not. I'm not sitting in a room full of strangers pouring out my personal problems. I'll handle this on my own. You can't, love. I can. And it would help me a lot if you move back in. Oh, I'm sorry, Rose. No chance. Not till you face up to things. I am facing up to things. Look, I'm admitting to you now. I'm a gambler. All right, I'm an addicted gambler. I've got a problem and I know it. And I want to stop. OK, then. Good. That's good. But it's not enough. Make the commitment, go to Gamblers Anonymous, and then I'll think about moving back in. I can't do that, Ed. Then I can't come back to you. Right. Man, darling, yes. should we make a start? Yes. All right, everybody. Uh, first thing, obviously, on the agenda, I move a vote of no confidence in our present chairman, Jimmy Corkill. Seconded. Uh, shall we vote on it? We need to, do we? Let's do it properly. Come on, hands up, foot. I'm not here to vote. I'm here as an observer, as the owner of number five. Carried unanimously, then. Listen, when it comes to voting in a new chairman, nominate me. Sorry, Rob? Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing. <clears throat> Wrapped up in my safe. Yeah, love. Two thousand pounds. Oh, Mum, no. You could need every penny, but don't cash it till the end of the week because I've got to sell a car first. The car? Well, it's paid for with drugs money, wasn't it? Rather that cash went towards getting you and Mike off to take it. Come on, give us a hug. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mum. You've got to get out of here. You've got to. Yeah. You'd be happy, love. Oh, the door's open, is it now? Look, Linz. Oh, don't waste your breath. Come on, Kyle. Where are you going? I'm leaving you. Say goodbye to your nan, sweetie pie. What are you doing? You can't just walk out. Tell her. Jimmy! I only let you back because I thought you needed me. I do need you. Oh, what for? To wash your socks? To keep your bed warm? No, thanks. Because I'm not lifting one finger for a drug dealer. You're never coming near me again, never. So didn't even bother trying to stop me because I don't want to see your lion face this side of hell. What's all the yelling? And you're no better. You're worse. He's just weak and a dreamer, but you're me dad. Sorry, correction. You were me dad. Oh, come on. What have you been telling her? To do what her conscience tells her. Unlike her mother. Look, love, all I was doing was was just trying to get a nice house and, and a good life for your mum. Oh, well, I hope the house and the money make you very happy, because that's all you're going to be left with soon. You've lost your daughter and your granddaughter. I don't have a dad anymore. You don't exist. You don't even deserve to exist. See your mum. Satisfied. Sorry. Uh, sorry, I'm late. Are oh, you all right, Ed? Uh, are we going to vote for a chairman now? Because I'd like to nominate Rob. Seconded. But you can't second yourself. Why not? He wants the job. Why can't he second himself? All right, all right. Any more nominations for chairman? Actually, I wouldn't mind having a shot at it myself. I'd like to propose Max. Yep, seconded. Uh, any more nominations? Well, I'll nominate you if you like. Hey, no chance. <laughs> right, shall we take a vote on it then? Hands up for Ron. Hands up for me. Patricia. I'm abstaining. No. <laughs> You can't abstain. Uh, uh, she can abstain if she likes. No, no, you've got to vote. Look. All right, we'll do it again. Hands up for me. And hands up for me. Oh, 
Thank you. Thank you very much for your support. Well, thank you all very much. And may I say, a very good choice. And as the new chairman of the BRA, I can assure you that my first act as chairman will be to get a petition rolling to get that Jimmy Corkill off this close for good. Yeah. Well done, Lord. It's good enough of you as it is. <laughs> anyway, we all apologies to Dad. Chairman of the Residents' well done, Association. Yeah. Well, that's boring old farts. <laughs> so what's happening? Does he know that you've left him? Yeah. Does he know where you are? No. Right then. We'll stay here till we... I can't. It's not here. It's not safe. This is the safest place in England. It never crosses mind that you're still on the close. Well, what about your dad and Bev? Oh, don't worry about them. They're going away for the weekend. They'll probably come back later to pick the cases up, but they're not going to come in here. And by the time they're back from the lakes, we'll be in Turkey. Have you spoken to your friend, Keith? Oh, well, I left a message on his answer machine. He'll probably be back tonight. So, have you got your passport? Yeah. Right, then. I'll get tickets on my credit card tomorrow when I've heard from Keith. And that's it. We're off. Our life starts here, Lindsay. You're not getting past this door. <laughs> Strong arm stuff, eh? Little laugh figures. Look, love, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it'll never happen again. No one got hurt, did they? What about all those poor kids you got hooked on the stuff, eh? Poison's everything, Jim. The people who take it and the people who make money from it. Destroys lives. <laughs> it's destroyed us. I'll take a back seat, love. Let Gary do it all. But will he give it up? Go on, say it. Say, Jackie, I swear to you, on all Lindsay's life that I'll give up dealing. And you and me will give this house up and we'll work on the taxis together and we'll go back to the old place. Say it. Yeah, but the thing is, love... Too late. Too late. <laughs> they get out the way, please. Jack, listen. And what I'll never forgive is you turn me into someone who sat back and let this happen. I can't live with what's on your conscience, Jim, and I can't live with what's on mine. Now, will you get out of the way, please? Jack, I love you. I know. So where are you going to be if I need you? Charging. Where will you be? What am I going to do? I'm in trouble, kid. Don't leave me now. See ya. Um, Key West, please. I, um, I heard about the shooting last night. <gasps> you and your Lee okay? Yeah, I was scared out of my wits. I thought it was us that got it. Oh, Eddie was dead worried. He was so guilty he wasn't there. Well, I'm hoping we're gonna get that sorted soon. Look, love, forget about the Key West. I didn't come in for a pizza. It was just an excuse to... Well, I wanted to see you. To... <clears throat> Like, apologise for all this mess with me and Eddie. And to thank you for putting him up. Or putting up with him, whichever. He's very welcome. Don't worry, I don't think it's going to be for long now. I'm getting things sorted. Good. I know he wants to come back. It's just... Oh, hiya. Um, is there any washing or anything I can take on? Give you a bit of a lift. Especially the amount of washing he makes. I hope you're not being a nuisance to Sarah. Three years, Jackie. I'll do anything you want. Anything. At least bloody tell me where you're going. I'll be at our vows. Jackie. Jackie! Well, Sodja, then. I don't care. And what are you lot staring at? So, we, the underside of the Brookside Residents Association, require Jimmy lakes. Cork and... I'm right on the waterfront. £150 a night, but they do a special weekend deal. Um, Look, there's the view from the restaurant, and there's the pool. Um, Got a gym as well. Looks great. Do you know what? It's just what I need, this. Should be glad to book, then. Hey? No, I mean... Well, yeah, obviously that as well, but no, the chairmanship. It's just what I need. It's made up, you know. Full of little ideas. Actually, I'm not sure we should be going away this weekend, you know, love. Not with the extra responsibility I've taken on. No way! 
nothing's getting in the way this weekend, Ron. I'm taking you away from the gangsters and the druggies. And... Besides, you're not exactly Ron and ICI, are you? It's just something to keep your mind occupied while I make our fortune. Yeah, not with all these eggs and all this health food rubbish you want. You wait. You just wait. Right, here we go. Who is going to be the first to sign to get Jimmy Corkill and his scally family off the close petition? Rosie? Um, I will. I'd like to be first. Oh, Jackie, I, I didn't mean... I wasn't including you and your Lindsay. Why not? We're all cool, please. Where's the pen? We do fine so far. Three of us gone already. Only two more to get rid of. Come on, Jack. Nobody honestly thinks you were involved. Don't they? I just came to Andy my notice, Bev. Oh, no, Jack. You don't have to do that. Well, if you don't want me living on the close, you certainly don't want me working in your shop. Anyway, I'm leaving the area. I'm off to my sister Val's in Garston. And before the gossip starts, I've, um, I've left Jimmy. Oh, love. You'd be pleased to know you were right about him all along. Yeah, but I mean... What am I going to do for staff? Not now, eh, Bev? Advertise. Plenty out there need jobs. Right, so, I'll, um... Say goodbye, then. Yeah. What are you doing? What's the point? We'll find some other way to get Jimmy Corker out of our lives. Jimmy? Where are you? Where's Jackie? I'm making a brew. She's left me. What? Like, walked out on you? It was all that business last night. Frightened him off. Don't worry. She'll be back. They always come back. Not this time. Well, if they don't, you find them and you drag them back. Oh, is that what you're going to do with our Lindsay, eh? It's all falling apart. I don't know what's happening. Right. That's it. Finished. We stop. Now. Oh, come on, Jim. We've still got stuff to sell. You don't want to let that lot, that big Davy or whatever he calls himself, you don't want to let them think they've won. We could still make money, big money. What for? What's the point? It's all turned to ashes. They've gone. My daughter's disowned me and Jackie. I've lost her. I've lost everything. A selection of Brookside books is available from most bookshops. Mr. Rooney, and have you read anything in the meantime? Yeah. Cheers. Ta -da. Who was that? That was uh, Keith's dad. Any news? There's a bit, yeah. So go on then. Well, he packed his bar job in about a month ago to go travelling around Turkey. Oh no. So we're knackered. No, no, not necessarily. His dad reckons he's back in Ankara this week and he's still got his job, so. So what are we gonna do? Oh, we just have to sit tight. But how do we know we'll get in touch? Well, we don't, but it's our best bet, isn't it? Oh, can't we just get off anyway? Where to? I 
don't know. Let's just stick a pin in the map. Look, I know it's a bind, but we're better off just staying here and waiting to see what Keith can do for us. We could be trapped here for weeks. What? Gary. Look, I promise to get you out of here and away from him, and I will. It's just going to take a little bit longer than I thought, that's all. So let's just stick with it, eh? And in the meantime, if you want something to really worry about, be Dad and Beth will you back from the dead weekend any minute. So prepare for World War Three. Excuse me. What? What are you doing? Nothing. Exactly. Hey. There's a bowl full of dirty dishes out here. I thought I could do them after. You can do them now if you don't mind. Chop, chop. If you insist. When we've finished on this lot, you can give us an hand filling them bullet holes in the living room wall. This is mental. The marigolds are under the sink. I should be out looking for Lindsay, not washing pots. Just get on with it, will you? What's the point? The point is, I want this place immaculate. But when my Jackie walks back through that door, Give me face facts, will you? She's not coming back. Don't even think that. After everything that's happened. Just wash, will you? And go easy with that fairy. We'll be back. And when she is, this place will be spotless. Because that's the only way she's going to stay put. Fine. Well, looks like the way it's on. I'm all right. Sorry. Thought you'd be in work by now. Yeah, yeah, me and all. So I'll come in off then? Oh, that took the day off. I feel lousy. Why? What's up? Uh, well, well, I don't know, to be honest. I'll do that if you like. I'm okay. I know where everything goes. Right. So have you been the doctors? Uh, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. I'm not that bad. I just feel, um, I just feel a bit off, you know. So you're home for the day then? Yeah. Dentist last week on the sick this week. Did he get in the sack? Oh, you don't mind, do you? No, as long as you don't mind watching me do the housework. <laughs> as if. I'm going to clean this place from top to bottom, but just as to all Terry's hard work. <laughs> You'd think he'd built the place from scratch, not hung some wallpaper. Eddie. Yeah, oh, sorry, sorry. Look, look, why don't you let me give you that hand, eh? I thought you were feeling well. Well, at least let me look after Becca for you. Yeah, tough. You do whatever. Just ignore me. Hey, I love. Um... come. Do you want to stay in here for a bit? I'd rather face them with you. No, no, we're better doing it this way. Go on. <sighs> come on, Kelly. Glad to be back. Oh, are you? I'm just in time for the next instalment of the OK Corral, eh? <laughs> you right? Oh, hello, son. Where the hell did he go to? Did you have a good weekend? Oh, ah, yes, yeah, sound. The place was brilliant. Great. It was lovely, dead peaceful, Emma. Just what you need today. Eh? And not a machine gun in sight. <laughs> so then, what's happened on the Al Capone front? Well, not much, Em. Um, there is something I wanted to tell you, though. Why is the house in darkness? What are you doing? And Bev said, let there be light. Hang on a minute. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Well, can you just keep the curtains closed for one minute? Come on, Mike, is that the black hole of Calcutta? Look, I've got somebody staying with me. All right. Well, two people, actually. Who? Me. You know Lindsay, don't you? Yeah, I know her. But I don't know what she's doing here. Well, we're together. Together? Yeah. You telling me you've copped off with a Corkill? Wrong. Jimmy Corkill's daughter? Nice one, Mike. After all that gets done to us? Ron, well, come on, cool down. That's got nothing to do with her, has it? And how long's all this been going on, like? For a while. Oh, God. And why are these curtains drawn? Anybody think we were in mourning? Well, some of us might be if you don't cool down. Well, we're in hiding, actually. Romu? My husband. God almighty, it gets better. But well, not for long. Only for a few days. How is it now? Yeah, and then we're getting off. Where to? Turkey. Excuse me, but have I gone out and come back two years later? I know it sounds mad, but we've got it all sussed. We want to be together, and the only way that we can do that is if we get away from here, so... Yeah, obviously, Turkey's the first place you think of, isn't it? Well, Keith's out there, isn't he? 
Is it me or what? Come on, let's get the bags up and your blood pressure down. Yeah, and while we're unpacking, somebody else can start packing. What? I'm not having Corkill's daughter under my roof. You can't just do that. Watch me. Miss Leave it, Mike. Hey, sunshine, don't you be calling me. You just think about your little brother first. Sorry, love, but this is personal. Aren't you up yet? Afraid not. Last night shedding the boards, eh? Yeah. Um, are you going to the party afterwards? Probably. Oh, I bet you'd be glad to see the back of it all. Why'd you say that? Well, you must be totally worn out. I'm all right. I never realised how hard acting was till I met Shane. I thought he just got on, said the lines and got off. And that's for dancing me heart on night after night. I don't know how you've lasted the pace. Yeah, it's just a job, same as anyone else's. Do you reckon? Oh, I think I'd have to be on something to keep me going. It's got a big enough buzz just being out there. Oh, so you don't get, like, all sorts of taking stuff and that? Like what? Well, I don't know, whatever. I thought all these showbiz types were into snort and coke up £50 notes. And the crappy wages we get. So, um, you've never been offered anything then? Shane said something. No, as if. I'm just thinking how much of a strain it must be. Not that bad. Well, I know Shane will be glad of the rest anyway. Yeah, well, Shane will probably have a couple of weeks holiday and then stroll into some boss job on kids' telly. Meanwhile, I'll be signing on. Don't you think you're being a bit harsh on them? No. Nope. Well, you had Jackie Corker working behind your till for long enough. It's not the same, is it? Why not? Because I'm not buggering off to the cast bar to set up home with Jackie, am I? I know that, but... Oh, my God. What's up? It's our Josh, hey? Listen to this. It is our pleasure to inform you that after careful consideration, your child has been chosen as one of the candidates to go forward to the next round of the selection process for our forthcoming series of commercials. Hey, smashing yeah. in. Are you going to be a little star, my son? You right is. So, when does all this happen? Hang on, I'll tell you now. Um, mm -hmm. What? They want a cheque for £75. What for? To cover administration costs. Ah, it's all a big rip-off then, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe nothing. Half of Liverpool will have had that letter. What do you reckon? Yes, I've seen it all before. <sighs> but we nearly made it there, mate. Afraid not, babe. Best thing you can do with this is give it to the smackhead's daughter downstairs and tell her to sling it in a <sighs> bin for us on her way out the door. You can't just throw out a defenceless mother and a child to the streets. Can't I? Well, at least give them a chance to ring round a few B&Bs. I'll give her the time it takes to stuff her drawers in a bin bag and not a second more. <sighs> Look at that. Sparkling. What makes you think that scrubbing a few worktops is going to get him back? It's not just the kitchen, though, is it? The whole house, it's clean, and that's the way it's going to stay. You can't just walk away from it all, you know. Watch me. There's too much at stake. That's why I am walking away. I can take getting shot at. I can't take losing Jackie. What about all the money we've spent? But what about it? We've got God knows how much worth of it, and we could still flog in that lockup. I don't care. Well, I do. Billy. You're joking, aren't you? No. We've got to get rid of it. That's what I just said. And try and get our money back. I'm not interested. Bennett! You're off your head. Do you want your missus home? I'm just finding out where she is. It'd do me for now. Well, I want mine. So I'm retiring. And you are and all. But... From now on, a bottle of cough mix is the strongest thing I want to see in this house. It's over. But you pack Barbie's things in there for her. This is mad. Don't go away. Look, it's not as if I'm giving you the boot or anything. Well, I want you to eat with me. In a couple of weeks, you'll have me for good. I want you for good now. Well, we don't know always get what we want, do we? I still can't understand why I can't come with you. Look, if we're gonna live abroad, I don't want you spending your last two weeks sat in some hostel ignoring your dad. I'm gonna be sitting here ignoring them, so what's the difference? Don't, please. Your dad's got good reason for feeling the way he feels about me. He doesn't even know you. 
But he knows me dad and what he's done, and that's what matters. Oh, this is too mad. It's for the best. Don't leave him under a cloud. Your dad's not been well, has he? And imagine if you got off without sorting it out and something happened to him. Mm. Exactly. So, I thought you were going to cook us some dinner before it disappeared. Yeah. Well, go on then. Get to the shops. I've just been looking for you. All right. Yeah, what have you been up to? Nothing, just getting a dinner in. Been keeping your head down, eh? Pew, <laughs> pew. <laughs> Something like that. Listen. Hey, fix for a fix. I'm not. Well, I don't mean this second. I don't mean this year. I'm not with you, mate. Jimmy's packing it in. He's closed us down. You're joking? I wish. Why? Don't ask me. But, but he can't. I mean, what about his clientele? I have to get sorted elsewhere. Oh, come on, you know the score, mate. I don't need people like you, people I can trust. Tell it to Jimmy. Oh, you can't leave me high and dry. Look, if it was up to me, I'd get what you want when you want, but... What? So you've still got some stuff available, then? Yeah, but Jimmy's gonna lash you. What? That's insane. Oh, you're telling me. Well, can't you just sort me out? Nah, what? he'd kill me. Please. I wish I could. I'll make it worth your while. I don't know. I'll pay you over the odds, well over. I can't. This says you can. What's up? Jackie's oh. brother. Look, come on, let's just help each other out. All right, I'll see you back here in half an hour. Oh, good man. You all right? Yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. So then, what do you reckon? Oh, I really don't know. I know £75 a lot of money, but it doesn't mean the whole thing's one big rip-off, does it? Mm, maybe, maybe. Ron reckons everyone's on the fiddle, but I don't know so much. No? Yeah. All right. Hey! Now, um, I've got a funny feeling our Josh really did get picked ahead of all those other kids. Yeah? Too right? I mean, let's face it, he is gorgeous. Well, aren't they all? Yeah, I know that. It's just... Well, I've just got this funny feeling that our Josh has got some kind of mad star quality. Oh, really? Mm, I reckon he's a dead natural. Just talking about your multi-talented ah. half-brother. Oh, wasn't your head? Could be the next Shirley Temple if he plays his cards right. Are you being funny? Me? No, I'm not in the mood. Anyway, look, I must go. You coming? Yeah, you coming? All right, I'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye, Pat. See you, Alice. <laughs> Ooh, talk about po-faced. You can't say a blind thing about your kid without saying reminding you something's wrong with theirs. Well, you're all heart, you, aren't you? Well, then, you got yourself into a right. Bev, hang on a minute. Before you go making your big speech, let me just remind you of a few things. You appeared from nowhere. You copped for me dad, then you copped for me. You broke his marriage up, you had my kid, and then you moved into me mum's house. So if you've got something to say, it better be good. It's 20p off them chicken and mushroom pies. Stop? Yeah. It's not boring. That's a bundle. Cheers. Ripper. Yeah. Oh, yeah? OK, uh, i see you. What are you doing here? What do you think? Waiting for the love of my life? Oh, so you're having an affair with that Gary dickhead? I'm not with you. Well, how come you were talking to him? He stopped and asked me the time. <sighs> oh, I, yeah. What, don't you believe me? Well, why should I? Because it's the truth. How come it couldn't have been the local lollipop lady asking you for the time instead of the local drug dealer? I can't stop the guy talking to me. Yeah, well, you could have walked away. Oh, Jack, please. I promised you, didn't I? Yeah, well, I don't know how much one of your promises is worth. Well, I've been up front with you about my problems, haven't I? It's only because I caught you red handed. Well, I'm glad you did, because now it's all out in the open. Is it? Yeah, you can go through my pockets if you like. As if. Well, please, show a bit of faith in me. Mm. But if I ever see you talking to that tosser again... Not a chance of it, I swear to you.
That's that then. Finished? Yeah. Oh, I'm shattered. I'm not surprised. I wish you'd let me give you that hand. Nah, you're sick, aren't you? I, yeah, uh, I feel a bit better now. Swinging the lead or what? So much so, um, I was wondering if... Uh... Have them, please, Mummy. I'll get it. Do you want anything? No, Tom. You sure? Yeah, thanks. Because I think you deserve a bevy after all this hard work. There you go, darling. So, I thought uh, maybe I could treat you to an hour at the pub later. Ed, uh, I don't think so. Why not? Well, we haven't got a babysitter for a start. We can find someone. Maybe, but... But what? I just don't think it's a very good idea. We just need somewhere to talk. No. See, because that's where you're wrong. There's nothing to talk about. But, Sarah... Please! Leave it alone, eh? So, what's the plan? Well, we'll head into town and see what we can find. Right. I still can't believe me, Dad, you know. It doesn't matter. Well, it does to me. Hey, as long as we're all right. Yeah. I'll go and get Carly ready, then. This belong to you, does it? Not personally, no. Michael, why? What? Hair. Yeah. She's got a name. And it's Corkill. And it's that her fault, is it? No, but... So, what's your point? Well, it's always the same, isn't it? What is? All these birds you bring home, it's never straightforward. They're all in some kind of lumber. No, they're not. Oh, come off it, son. You had Sarah Banks and a kid in tow, didn't you? Then you fell hook, line and sinker for the Jordas travelling circus. And now you're trying to turn this place into some kind of safe house for a couple of corkills. But this is different. Yeah, well, not from where I'm standing. And where's that? Look, son, I'm your dad. I don't want to see you get taken for a mug. Look, I'm not going to be. But all these girls... I don't know. They all seem to be hiding from something. Look, I'm not being funny, but... Is that the reason that you fancy them in the first place? Because you know that they need you. Thank you, Robbie Coltrane. Yeah, well, I'm just saying. What you're doing is you're missing the point completely. OK, go on, enlighten me. Well, it's about something that you can't control. Yeah, and it's parked in your trousers. Do you want to hear this or not? Sorry, sorry. Go on, carry on. Do you seriously think if I had a choice in the matter, I'd go for someone from that family? Well, until I walked in before, no. Exactly. Look, Dad, I love Tony just as much as you. But when I met Lindsay... Even though you knew the trouble it'd cause? Well, did that stop you and Bev? Touché. And why didn't it? Because you couldn't ignore what your heart was telling you. Yeah, but you have felt like this before, haven't you, son? No. I've thought I've loved other people, but nothing like this. Dad, I live and breathe for Lindsay. And I just know that whatever happens, we've got to stick together. Ready? I'm sorry, Dad, but that's the score. I'll do the cabbie. Don't bother. Hey? Take your coat off, love. You can stay as long as you like. How come? Well, I don't want to be accused of chucking innocent women and children out on the street now, do I? Right, girls, I'm off. Um, where you going? The theatre. Good age, you shut you know. I was thinking of grabbing a bite to eat in town first. Oh, right. Well, um, I'll come with you then. Yeah, well, we'll have to go now. Yeah, I'm all right as I am, aren't I? Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, fancy it, Casey? Uh, no time, not that hungry. Well, see it curtain up then. Yeah. Feels good to be saying that for the last time. And um, we'll have a dance at the party afterwards, eh? Okay. Yeah. See ya. See
Oh, so you're back, are you? Yeah. Where have you been? Just out. What's that? I wasn't going to crack on to you, but I decided we're partners, right? And you've been dead good to me, so I didn't want to diddle you out of half of what's yours. What are you on about? I know you said you don't want to deal anymore, and that's fair enough. But a chance to get rid of some of the gear just hit me in the face, so... Who to? That's Shane. What? I knew you'd be mad, but I just used my initiative. He virtually paid me five times ago, and right, I couldn't turn that down. Well, so you went the lock-up and you got some stuff from him? Yeah. He took quite a bit off us, but not as much as we took off him. Please tell me this is a wind-up. It was a piece of cake, and it's done now, so, uh... Can't you win in, eh? That heroin was uncut. Hey. It was pure! You've sold the soft Aussie, get pure heroin! I didn't know, did I? You, you dickhead! Where are we going? We've got to find him! So, what'll happen if we don't... We don't track him down before he shoots up? What do you think? Could it kill him? Well, let's just say we'll have climbed his last beanstalk. Know what I mean? We're gonna go down and this is the men who killed Prince Charming. Oh, God. No use asking for his help. So Shane will definitely snuff it if he takes that gear uncut. I don't know, but I am not hanging round to find out. Where are you going? Well, get going. See if there, Jackie said where he was going. Thanks. OK. OK, I'll get it. Hello, Bon. What do you want? Uh, we're just looking for someone and we thought you might be able to help us. Oh, yeah. Why would I want to help you with anything? Look, I'm sorry, it's important. I don't care. It's all right, Dad. I'll sort this. Why, do you know what he is? Hey? He? Yeah. Who? You're Jackie's fella, the one from the telly. No, no, we don't. No idea? None whatsoever. Now get off me doorstep. Well, look, if you do see him, Oh, by the way... Tell him to ring us. While you were holed up over the road playing plazy gangsters, we held an extraordinary meeting at the BRA to discuss your chairmanship, actually. Or, should I say, your ex-chairmanship. You what? You see, there's been a bit of a coup. You're out. I'm in. Hey. Goodbye. I can't do that. Looks like they already have. Oh, come on. You can't keep this game up for much longer, lad, I'm telling you. Here you go, you chocoholic. So, where are we going then? Oh, I can feel a Mac attack coming on. Yeah? Yep, fancy a quarter pounder? No, but you said that's a warm again. <laughs> Come on. I could need a room and scabby air. We'll get a cab over to Max's gap. From what I've heard, soft lad has had his tea every night virtually for the last month there. <sighs> Not much chance of that. Have you got any better ideas? No, not really. Don't want to give Mystic Meg a ring, then? 
No need to be sarky. Right, we'll stop talking crap and go and order us a cab. Go on. Are you still grafting? Right, so, what are you doing? Well, if you won't come to the pub, the pub will come to you. Right. I said you deserved a beer and I meant it. So, you'd understood before, didn't you, why I didn't want to go out? Ah, uh, cos of Becca, yeah. Where is she, by the way? Watching telly in a room. No, I mean the other reasons. Eh, uh, well, I think so. I just don't want to get into another big discussion about... You and me. Yeah. But why? Cos we're not a couple. We shouldn't be having those kinds of conversations. But there's still things I need to ask you. Like what? Well, what you think of me for a start? I think you're lovely. Yeah, but... How do you look at me? I'm not with you. What am I to you? You. Dad important. Really? Too late. How? Well, I can rely on you, can't I? You've always been there for me ever since I met your car. And you never took sides against us, even when things got really nasty. I always feel I can come and talk to you, no matter what the problem is, and no matter what you've had in your own place. I'd still have time to listen. Hey, I better put him for me saying so the next week, isn't I? That's it. What? You're my guardian angel. Yeah. And you're also just about the best friend I've got. So, I'm a lot more than a father-in-law to you? Of course. Because you're a hell of a lot more than a daughter-in-law to me. Yeah, but that shouldn't mean we... ...end up like we did the other week. Exactly. But what if the other week was just about the best thing that's happened to you in years? You should tell yourself not to get carried away and ruin a dead good friendship. <sighs> yeah, but... You should remember how many people have got hurt if it ever came out. Rosie, Carl, Lee, Becca. And I should tell you, no matter what you think you felt, how wrong it must be. Oh, blast. Told you. Shut it. Yes? All right, Max. What do you want? I'm charming. Look, if you're looking for a table, I'm afraid we're fully booked. Place is half empty. We haven't come for scrap. Good. What's that supposed to mean? Well, we were rather hoping to avoid being machine gun this week. Very funny. No, it isn't, actually. Shane Cochran hasn't booked a table in here tonight, has Not he? Not when you're seriously contemplating upping sticks and moving for fear of your children being shot. Because we need to talk to him about something urgent. He's just asked you a question. No, he hasn't. Right. Thanks very much for your help. Goodbye. Oh, and by the way, as far as you and your pistol-packing clan are concerned, I'm afraid we're fully booked. From now until the millennium. Is that right? Well, I'll try not to lose too much sleep over it. Hiya. Hello. You all right? Nice, yes, thanks. Good. What? Hey. What did you want? Oh, eh, uh, I, I just... You were just what? I, eh, uh, I got you these. Oh. Why? To celebrate the end of your diet. What? Well, it's not like you need to lose weight in the first place. What do you mean? I think you look nice as you are. About the end of my diet? Well, I saw you talking into them sweets, so... What? Were they nice? When did you see me? Uh, Have you been spying on me? No. Like some little pave? No, I was going to... You were going to what? <sighs> Nothing. So what did you see then? Just you eating. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... Just go away, Lee. And don't come back. You've got him washing up. Well, that is a miracle. Sorry, Mr. Dixon. Ah, uh, it's all right, love. I'm a clumsy cat. No, 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 it was my fault giving you the fright like that. Oh, God's sake. Oh, come on, it's only a mug, innit? I just, I don't know what's wrong with me. 
Yeah, well, I don't think living like a pair of gangsters on the run is helping much to you. No, but what else can we do? Well, if you two love each other like you keep telling me you do, and I believe you do, <coughs> then why not come clean? Take it from one who knows you'll feel better for it. It's too dodgy. Why? Well, I'm just petrified Gary will try and take Carly off me. So, I'm afraid it's turkey or bust. Has Shane Cochran arrived there yet? Oh, he has. Uh, right, uh, listen, any chance of uh, putting him on? It'll only take a minute. <coughs> Pack it in, cracks. <coughs> well, oh, no, I was talking to the dog. <laughs> no, listen, love, it's dead important, this, honest to God. Uh, I just need to speak to him. No, I don't want the address of his fan club, thanks. I'm a mate of his. Well, does it matter what my name is? Uh, listen, can you just give him a shout? He won't be very happy when he hears about this, you know. All right, all right, all right. Listen, can you just tell me one thing? Was he with anyone when he came in? A uh, blonde girl, about 20, nice looking. Oh, he was. Uh, right, yeah, OK, OK, yeah. Yeah, thanks very much, love. Why didn't you say who you were? He might have come to the phone if he knew it was you. Oh, aye, uh, yeah. What if he just shot up, eh? And the receptionist had found him dead in the bogs. I'm sure the busies would be very interested to know what I was doing on the other end of the blower. So he's there, then? Yeah, with Jackie Dixon. Which means he probably hasn't had a chance to get sorted yet. Which means we are probably in with a shout of saving our necks. So come on, let's get down there. Peace at last. I don't know why you'd even bother to try any out anyway. It's the hopeless optimist in me. You see, I've got this dream, right? Where for one solitary hour, one single day, I get to eat my cheeseburger and pizza without hearing the words. Oh, look, a gym off sunset, bay. Hey, you just getting scouts. How would I do that? Yeah. So, um, what are your plans for later? Well, I thought I was coming the last night party with you. No, 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 before that, I mean. Don't know, just hang around here, I suppose. I'm not staying to see the show again, are you? Hey, I'm not that desperate. So what, are you going to shoot home and make yourself look beautiful for me? I'm trying to get rid of me. No, I just I don't really feel obliged to sit around here bored while I take my slap on. No, I don't mind, honest. You sure? Yeah, I'll just hang around here so you go on. Fair enough. Come on! All right. Yeah? Listen, I uh, just wondered if you could do us a little bit of a favour. Oh, aye. Well, yeah, I need to have a word with a mate of mine inside. Oh, that right? Yeah, you probably know him. Probably. Yeah, Shane. Shane Cochran. Oh, well, yeah, I know him, all right. Can you give him a shout, please? I'd love to, mate, but he'd be preparing himself for tonight's performance, doing his voice exercises and all that palaver. Well, listen, we'll only take a sec. Oh, I'm um, sorry, lads. Hey, hang on. Two minutes is all it'll take. If Shane Cochran had given two minutes to every Tom, Dick and Harry that I'm had knocking on this door, he'd be about 150 by now. But... Look, if you've got an autograph book on you, I'll try and get it into I it. I don't want an autograph. Well, I'm afraid that's the best I can do. The fella's entitled to his privacy the same as anyone. Know what I mean? Black currant tea. Don't know if I like the sound of that. How come our house always ends up like some minty DSS hostel? Oh, come on. He is my own son. They're lovely, actually. Look, I know that, but why does he keep having to drag home all these married women and the kids? Oh, be fair, Bev. He's really serious about this Lindsay one. Ron, he pulled the same stunt with Sarah Banks. Not to mention that lesbo loon, Beth. Yeah, but they were different, weren't they? Honestly, I really think it's love this time. Excuse me while I spew. 
Anyway, this stuff might be very nice, but will it sell? Hi, Mrs. Green. Hello. Uh, there's 79p. Do you want me to put it on your tab? OK, draw. Tab? What are you talking about, tab? She sound her. Yeah, so's Mother Teresa, but she wouldn't get a loaf on tick in my shop. I only do it for the old ones. What? You mean they're giving a load of pension as credit? Yeah, but only if I know the faces. Bev, are you trying to bankrupt me? They pay up, eventually. How do they? And what happens if one of them snuffs it, owners all sorts, eventually? What do we do then? Did they actually take your heart out in the hospital? It's very funny. Bev, this is a corner shop, love. It's not a soup kitchen. Thought I was supposed to be the boss now. Yeah, well, flogging trendy tea and giving stock away isn't going to help you very much, is it? Says who? Says me. Actually, I think I'll have a quick look at them books. You will not. Just to see what the score really is. The score is, you said you'd keep your beak out of it. So why don't you get back to that halfway house we used to call a home and leave me to run this place in peace? Can't believe you've got to sit through that load of crap again. As long as he's up there beside his lines, we know he's all right. Come on. Don't want to miss the stars of the show. Hello. It's the last time I have to wear this stupid flaming costume. Yep. Until next Christmas, then I suppose it's another stupid flaming costume. No, oh, and I bet you'll look just as gorgeous. You're too kind. Do you think we'll still be together this time next year? Don't see why not. Me neither. You sure about that? I think so. Even though you know what you know about me? Well, as long as you stay off smack, we'll be great. As long as you stay with me, I'll stay off it. Do you mean that? Yeah. What view you know? The feeling's totally mutual. Good. Well, I think it's time you went home and got your glad rags on. Well, listen, I won't kiss you because I don't want to smudge your lippy. Smudge away. See you Certainly will. Bye. How's it going, Tom? Fine, thanks, Shane. Are you looking forward to your last night? I'm looking forward to a few tinnies afterwards. Hey, I'll drink to that. <laughs> Tell you what, though, I'm going to miss our little pre-pano chats. Yeah, me and all, mate. Still, if you ever need a full-time miner to protect you from all them fans... I'll know where to go. Yeah. Hey, I've just had two light ones asking for you out there. Will they fit? Not bad. Two fellas. <laughs> they look like a right pair of idiots. One of them was old enough to be your dad. Takes all sorts. Yeah, I sent them packing anyway. Good man. The plane is you. Yeah, the last post. See you later, mate. See you, mate. supposed to be in the pantomime tonight? Oh, I didn't feel up to it till I found in sick. You all right? Yeah, I'm just tired. All right. Do you want to come in? Um, no, thanks. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. For what? Being so nasty to you. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. I'd have been the same if I thought someone was nosing in at me. I still shouldn't have gone off on one. I wasn't spying, you know. Oh, no, I, I was just in a foul mood, that's all. How come? It's this stupid diet. I've stuck to it dead well for ages, but today, for some reason, I just had to have those chocolates you got me. By the time I finished, I was in a right knock with myself. It was like all our efforts had been wasted, so when you turned up with another box... Sorry. Oh, don't be apologising, it's my fault. I'll let you off. Thanks. Uh, sure you don't want to come in for a cup of tea or anything? Oh, no thanks, I'd better get off. Right. And could you do us a favour? Yeah, what? Don't crack on to Jack, I've been stuffing my face. We had a bit of a bet about this diet thing and I don't want to lose it. Okay. Thanks. 
and I'm really, really sorry. Tra. Becca tucked up in bed. Yeah. I might follow suit, actually. Not now. It's only early. I know, but I'm dog tired. <sighs> Fair enough. That was even worse than I thought the first time round. Seemed all right to me. Particularly the bits where Shane was breathing, you know, alive. I couldn't tell if he was or not half the time. Oh, ha, oh, oh. ha. Anyway, come in. So we've got that job's worth of adornment to contend with, haven't we? Is that you? It's me. Can I come in? What do you want? I am. Um, I just need to talk to you. Eddie, what are you doing? Nothing. I, uh... Please, get off the bed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thanks. No, why don't you go make yourself a hot drink or something? Do you want one? No. I just want to go to sleep. If only. Yeah. If only. You're as bad as I am, aren't you? What do you mean? I bet you're lying here, tossing and turning, aren't you? Sort of. What are you thinking about? I think we're going to wake back if we don't keep the noise down. Tell you what I've been thinking. How much I want to be close to you. Again, all the time. Eddie. How much I want to hold you. Look, we were both lonely people. We needed each other. That's the only reason why anything happened. You don't really believe that. I do. Why don't I get in, eh? can it be when it feels so good? It doesn't. We could keep each other warm, have a nice gab. Does this feel bad to you? Yeah, it does. But Sarah... I... Look, don't say anything. Just leave me alone. Right you are, I'll see that Shane gets these at the first possible opportunity. Let's save a few bottle changes too, eh? Aye, aye. Three coming through. Mind yourself, Shane. Oh, I don't believe this. Oh, sod, Shane. Let's go home. That's it. To me. To me. Quick, go ahead. To me. Come. Come. Is he okay? Good day, guys. All right, mate. There's a couple of tinnies in the fridge. Oh, nice one. Oh, no! Crack them right. Oh, God, Shane! Oh, What's Shane! Up? He's taking it. He's bloody taking it. But I thought... Shane! Come back, Shane! Shane, come back! He's out of it. Come, Ed. No, we can't just leave him. We'll have to. I'm getting an ambulance. I reckon it's too late for that. 
He's at it. Come out while we still can. Come on. Jimmy, it's all over the papers. There's nothing about us in there. They've got quotes from the busies and everything. They're not looking for any dealers. How old do you reckon he was? Hey? Shame. How old? 25, 26. Sounds about right. Why? No. Just wondered. You probably had the best part of another 50 years to go, then, eh? Uh. Till we took them away from him. What? Till we killed him. We didn't kill no one. We did. It was an accident. Spilling a pint on your kecks. That's an accident. Taking a 25-year-old man's life isn't. We didn't ask him to be a smackhead. We didn't even ask him if he wanted any drugs. He came to us, remember? That's our excuse, is it? Yeah. We killed him. No. He killed himself. How are you feeling now? He was into it, you know. Yeah? I found out last week. Oh. Right. He promised me he'd stay off it. Yeah, but... What's a drug addict's promise worth, eh? I bet you he was having all of it being for the likes of that no mark Jimmy Corkill. Um, Bev's... Made a pot of tea there. Nice one. Not right, Jack. Come on, darling. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Did you hear about that, um... Shane Cochran character on the radio. Yeah. Don't do that, Bex. Just shows you, eh? Yeah. Are you finish finished with that? Do you want to go and get dressed then? We'll get a hand yeah. in a minute. Yeah. Don't. What? I told you last night this is all wrong. But why? Isn't it obvious? Not to me. 
You can't seriously think you and me can... I haven't got a clue what to think, Sarah. Well, I have. We can't do this. It's not fair on anyone, especially Becca. Oh, but I should have walked in when... But nothing happened. Nothing's gonna happen. We have got to put a stop to this here and now before everybody gets hurt. Mate. Thought it was a good day, you're pumping away in here. All right. <laughs> How goes it? Not bad. What's with the speakers? Oh, fine, I'm lying around in the nightclub. No use to no one there, so I thought you could use them for the sound system in here. Oh, nice one, cracker. So was Mick still sticking with it then? Oh, you want to see him? He's pumping iron like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> but it's a shame, is he? Hey, no chance. Once I get through this, I'll be like a whippet. Oh, feeling the benefits of it then? Well, let's put it this way I'm a lot fitter than that Australian beauty who was knocking around with Jackie Dixon, aren't I? Oh, I get you on about him on breakfast, Telly. Can't understand a young lad like him, all that dosh, any woman he wants, and he throws it all away for a quick buzz. Well, maybe all that success got bored and he just needed the buzz to keep going. Oh, well, maybe. Will you try telling that to his mum and dad, all his brothers and sisters, or Jackie Dixon? You getting up or what? Oh, come here, mate. Look. I like chain and all, you know. With a good skin. But he took his chances, didn't he? Sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles. It wasn't our fault. It wasn't anyone's fault. Anyway... ...haven't we got more important things to worry about? Like trying to get our wives back home. Come on. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Just like that. Can't you get it into your thick skull? Someone has died because of what we do. He's dead because of what he did. No. This is down to us. I didn't put the needle into his arm. Neither did you. We might as well have done. For God's sake. We're drug dealers. This sort of thing is bound to happen. I'm sick to the back teeth of it. You can't blame yourself for every useless no mark who snuffs it. <sighs> Just leave me alone, eh? Hey? Do you reckon it's down to my dad and Gary, this? I don't know. Poor Jackie. I felt so sorry for her. Yeah, me and all. God, I hate them too. Well, let's just look at it as another reason to get as far away from a pair of them as possible. What are you doing there, Mum? Oh! Give me the flesh of my life there. What are you looking at there? Um, this. All right, that's private. Well, it wasn't in an envelope or anything. Well, you still shouldn't have. Did you read it all? Yeah. I'll tell you one thing, son, you write a cracking love letter. Yeah, very funny. Oh, I'm serious. Really? Dead romantic, that. Honestly. Yeah. So, who's the lucky girl, then? No one. Oh, come on, spill the beans. No, I can't. Well, you seen anything of her? Sort of. And she's older than you. How do you know that? Oh, well, it says so here. Oh. So how much older? A bit like. Well, uh, the age gap doesn't matter, eh? No. <laughs> I'm not even going to get a name, rank and serial number out of you, am I? Nope. Well, all I can say is I wish your father had written me letters like that when we were courting. Whoever this older woman is, she's onto a winner with you, sunshine. Um, 
last. Oh, well, you're up then. Do you want a brew? Feeling any better? It's been a heavy couple of days, hasn't it? Listen, there's something you should know about me. What? This isn't the first time I've killed anyone. I told you we haven't killed... What do you mean it isn't the first time? I've killed someone before. Two people. A couple of years ago. Got it with three kids and... Lad of 14. How? off my head at the time. I was into all sorts. Coke, smack, whatever I could get my hands on. Anyway, this day I was driving round like a maniac. The car was on four star. I was on the old showbiz sherbet. Anyway, I came rising round this corner, uh, like James Hunt's. No, and all of a sudden, there was this roller in front of me. You hit a roller? No. Roller is a brick wall. Lad was in a coma for months before he... I'm sorry. And you want to hear the really sick bit? I sat with his family round the hospital bed. Week in, week out. And they never knew it was me who put the sum there in the first place. Do they know now? They know all right. It was Ron Dixon's son. Him over the road? Yeah. And now I've killed his daughter's father as well. Do you know? Not a single solitary stinking Hour doesn't pass that I don't see Tony Dixon's face. Even for a split second. And every time I get this terrible feeling in my guts. And what frightens me is... How many... dead people can you carry around on your conscience? Till you crack up altogether? Come in, love. Thanks. Back at a playgroup. Just dropped it there. Oh. oh sorry about the mess. Oh, it's all right. Oh, this is a tip. You want to try living in my room? But... Uh, you want a copper? No, thanks. So, how's my husband? <laughs> all right. I hope you've got him doing his fair share of the chores. Do my best. Glad to hear it. How are you, anyway? Oh, I'm surviving. He misses you, you know. He'd miss an ingrown toenail if he walked round on it for 23 years. Yeah, but... No but. He strolled out that door, he's still got a key, and he's welcome to walk back in any time he sees fit. Well, what if that was sooner rather than later? Oh. I could live with that. Well, listening to what he said, I reckon it'd need just one bit of compromise. On your side. What? Campbell is anonymous. Sorry, no. What you'd even think about it? I've been through all this with Eddie. I'm not interested. Even if it means putting your marriage back together? If we do patch things up, it'll be off our own bats. And that's exactly how I intend to deal with all my problems. But Rosie, if you don't get help, do you think he'll ever come back? Oh, I hope so, but... It's up to him, isn't it? Paper he got sacked from one programme because he was found in bed with a 13-year-old co-star. Yes, he was on with my daughter, remember? What am I saying? Yeah, well, don't, please. Will you pack that in? You sound like Skippy. I'll tell you what, no wonder you couldn't get these chill rolls to add up. Why? Well, these books are only mess. No, they're not. Oh, no, sorry, of course they're not. What's wrong with them? Well, they're written in hieroglyphics for starters. That's me code. Well, I can't make head and tail of it. It's dead straightforward. Who oh, is it? Well, what does this mean here? What? Here, B, £20 T. That's easy. That's, um, borrowed £20 Tuesday. From the till? Yeah. Oh, 
So where is the P-I-B-A-W? Hey. Put it back again Wednesday. Must have forgot. Oh, yeah. And all these names at the back. I presume that that's our list of bus pass waving tick merchants, is it? Yeah. Bev, there's a woman here who's knocking on hundred pounds. Well, that's Mrs. Prescott. She's lovely. I couldn't give a monkey's love. This is meant to be a business. Do you know how a business is meant to work? I'm sure you're going to tell me. Yeah. You see, you charge the highest prices and you pay the lowest wages that you can get away with. You never cough up anything until you have to, and you never, ever give anybody anything on credit. So from now on, if you want to carry on running this place, no more falling for any senior sisters and sob stories, no more buying any job lots of organic flapjacks off hordes of new age hippies with half a dozen earrings hanging out of their eyelids, and the books come on with me whenever it suits. Otherwise, I shall be coming out of retirement while you will be making your way home to spend your days blowing out Josh's snotty nose, OK? <sighs> Can I just grab that, love? Ta. I'll have to make a move soon, you know. Oh, OK. Oh, no rest for the wicked, I... Hiya. Hiya. Come in. Is our Leobos? No, but your flatmates is. Uh, um, what are you doing here? Oh, she came to see me, didn't you? Try it. Hey, Ollie's gone to town. Was it important? Uh, no, no, I was, um, I just wondered whether he fancied going to the flicks one night this oh, week. Oh, be nice. Yeah. Hey, well, I'll pass the message on when he gets back. Uh, ta, ta. Right, well, you'll have to excuse me. I've got to strip the bets. What's the score? I came to see how she was. And? She seems OK. I, uh, I mentioned Gamblers Anonymous to her again. Oh, God. Let me guess. Lead balloon. Spot on. Wild horses wouldn't track her to one of those means. No. You don't want to lose her there, girl. It was worth a try. Oh, do you reckon? Yeah. I don't know so much. What do you mean? Well, I'm getting a bit sick of all this trying, to be honest. But you've got to stick with it. No, no. I think I'll give the Al Gammon on a wide bed for a couple of weeks. But what about Rosie? And what about Eddie? She needs help. And I need a healthy dollop of straightforward, old-fashioned happiness, Sarah. Oh, so... You can't just dump her because she won't help herself. She's your wife, for God's sake. I'm not dumping anyone. I'd just like to have a day or two when I didn't have to think about it. Yeah, but that's not really life, is it? <sighs> it is when I'm with you. Go. Oh, right so. Me and all. Fine. Right, well, see you then. See ya. After you. Sarah, what are you doing? No, what does it look like? I don't know, but can't it wait? I need to talk to you. No, it can't. What's going on? I'm moving your stuff into Becca's room. You can keep in there and she can get in with me. I'm up here up on the couch. But that's the trouble. You're not, are you? I'll go wherever you put me. And I'm putting you in Becca's room. That way, you won't get confused, you know, end up in the wrong bed. I don't understand this. Join the club. So are you telling me you don't want anything to do with me? No, I'm... I don't know what I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, I do. You've got a wife who needs you who just happens to be my mother-in-law. Yeah, well, the trouble with that is... I don't know if I need her anymore. Oh, don't say that, Eddie, please. Are you all right? Do you want anything? No, it's all right. Believe it. No. He's the last person I thought was. Just shows you. 
Nobody knows nothing about no one. How are you anyway? Me, I'm fine. I woke you went sick last night. Oh, I had a dodgy stomach. Are you sure you're all right? <sighs> yes. Probably just run down because I've been working that hard. Will you shut up about me and let me worry about you? Sorry. I'm off out. Where are you going? A locker. What for? I'm going to get the rest of that heroin. And I'm going to empty it down the nearest bog. I wouldn't waste your time. Eh? Hey? It's not there anymore. But well, where is it then? I asked you a question. I've got it. Yeah. So where is it? Does it matter? Yeah. I'm not saying. Why not? Because I don't want you to lash it and blow the only chance we've got of making some decent cash. <sighs> Tell me where it is, Gary. No, not the frame of mind that you're in. I've got to have it. I've got to get it out of my life before it does any more damage. Where is it? What are you doing? Where is it? Pack it in, will you? Get the ball. I want the poison. Not a chance. I'm going to flog you. I'm going to hire a private detective to find Lindsay. You can whistle for it. No good looking in there. I stashed it somewhere safe when I did that deal with Shane. Where are you going now? Jimmy! What are you doing? Everything that I bought with money from that gear is going. For God's sake, Jimmy. Are you quick? What? What's he doing? I don't know. Jackie? It's two thousand pounds worth of telly, this. Good. Hey, you. Jackie? It was you, wasn't it? You gave them them drugs, you and your scabby sidekick. Come on, love, they're not worth it. Why don't you just submit it? Go on! A 24-year-old lad's dead because of you. A lovely, talented, caring person gone just like that. If there was any kind of gods up there, it'd be you and that Morgan or Shane. Hey, it had nothing to do with us. It's finally correct if I'm telling you. You killed our Tony, and now you've killed Shane. I don't know what you're on about. Here you go, Jim. Come, Ed. Um, I'm sorry. Jackie, come on. No! I want to hear him say it! Oh, God, Kylie. Say it. I am a murderer. Come on! Forget it, eh, Jackie? And what's this? People like you don't know the meaning of tears. <laughs> Say it. Look, I know you're upset. I am a murderer. I am. Let's get in, Jim. A uh, murderer! Come on, you catch your death.
best be getting off to school. Yes, yeah, see you later. Yeah, tra love. Katie, I'm delivered, no stamp. I'll give it to her when she gets back from signing on. Look, you don't have to stay, you know. It's only someone from the coroner's office. No, I'd rather stay. I'd rather someone was with you. I'm only giving them a statement. Are you going to tell me it was Jimmy Corgill? Why are you asking? Because he's Lindsay's dad. No, no, Lindsay doesn't want to know him anymore. What can I say anyway? It's my words against him and that Gary's. Sunny place. Yeah. You watch Tally and I'll do you some flakes, eh? Okay, Mum. What are you doing here? Where was I? I am. You should have been in work an hour ago. You'd be getting the sack after the scarving you did last week. I wanted us to have uh, proper chat. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. This. This business of moving the little one in with you that night. I thought we agreed it was for the best. I know, but I just hate the idea of you thinking you're going to be protected from some sex maniac who's going to burst in at any minute. I don't. It's just... I promise you, things are under control. If you say no, that's that. But you don't need back in the same room as you to keep me at bay. Look, can we save this? I don't think it's the right time for yet another big mad discussion. <laughs> Cop car outside Jackie Dixon's house. Oh, God. What if they come over here? What do we say? What can we say? We did it. We're responsible for that lad's death. Hey, look, forget this confession stuff, can't you? If Jackie Dixon tells the police what you said out there the other day, you're gonna get questioned. So don't say a word, all right? All right? I'm not interested in all this police stuff. I just want Jackie back. I'm going round to their pals. I'm gonna tell her that I've finished with dealing. And I want a fresh start for both of us. Have you found? No. I've got to do this face to face. I want her to see me eyes. I want her to know it's the truth. I've finished with drugs. And I want another chance of a fresh start. I'll come with you. Even if Lindsay won't come back, it's about time I see my own daughter. Uh, I'm going to have to go soon. Alice is busy. Right. You're not going into work? No, it's the first Christmas dip, so I thought I'd try a few new recipes. Another new cookery book. Well, I've got to keep up with the trends. What is it? Spaghettata. It's spaghetti and spinach with extra virgin olive oil and pine nuts, and then you just add to it what you like. Very subtle, very Italian, and the veggies will love it. So, um, things are a bit slack at the restaurant at the moment, are they? Fortunately, yeah. Mm, must be awful for you paying all this stuff to just stand around doing nothing. Gets my religion. So, perhaps it might be better if I had Rachel back working for me in the shop. I mean, it would save on your wages, Bill, and help me take some time off from the gift box. No, 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 no. No, you see, I need Rachel. Uh, she's a good worker, something I can train up. I need continuity. Right, well, I'll have to advertise then, won't I? I mean, I keep having to close up while we go to hospital appointments. I'm losing money. Well, can't you wait till your mother comes back? I mean, she'll probably <sighs> that long. Three months, they said. I need someone now. I think I should try speccatata with clams. What do you think? I think I should get going. Well, you don't know what you're missing. Signor Farnum's bellissimo speccatata con vongole. Fell asleep. She had a restless night. Um, I'm sorry about before. It's not just you, Ed. It's me as well. We can't help the way we feel, now, can we? I really like it, Ed. 
But I can't help thinking about Rosie and Carl and everyone. What would they say? Can you imagine the reaction if they knew? They don't, though, do they? God, you're saying everything's under control, but it's not. It's way out of control, and I don't know if I can handle it anymore. You want it to finish, then? Is that what you're saying? Finish what? Look, I hate doing this, but maybe it'd be better if you weren't here. You want me to leave? Clear out of here? I think so, yeah. Well, if that's what you want, love. I'll collect my stuff when I finish work. I'm not saying don't visit or anything, but don't you think it'd make things a bit easier? See you later. Ta -da. All right. Yeah. Why did Jimmy Cogan have to give him pure Adam? Too stupid to know what he's selling. Stupid must say you can change dyes. Do you want me to get you another coffee or something? If she ain't had no dyes, he's probably been on way to Australia by now. I promised me a holiday out there. I was gonna meet his mum and dad. Now I've got to meet them like this. Do you want me to go to the hotel with you? No, I'll go with my own thanks. Anyway, you've enough problems here at own, haven't you? Yeah. I don't know how long Lindsay can act staying in us. I just wish Keith would get in touch. Then maybe we could get off. It's all down to the Coal Hills, isn't it? No wonder my dad hates them. No wonder Lindsay walked out on them. Oh, Tony, no shame. I'll kill him for what he's done to us. No, it's you. I wonder how long it would take you to come round here. All right, Val. Can I see her? Sorry, she's out. Look, I know how she feels, but I just need ten minutes. I'm desperate. I said she's out. She's gone into town. What about Lindsay? Lindsay? Well, she's not here. We thought she'd gone back to you. Oh, I haven't seen her since she left Jimmy's. How long was she here for? She's never been here. You are? Not at all. Well, where is she, then? Well, maybe she's staying at her mates. Me and Jackie haven't had sight nor sound of her. She's got my kid, for God's sake. Well, maybe she's like her mother and doesn't want anything to do with either of you ever again. Look. How long will she be? Can I come in and wait? Sorry, Jimmy. Jackie would kill me if she knew I let you in. She can give me a few minutes, can't she? Look, I just want to tell her that I'm finished with the drugs. I'm not going to have anything to do with them anymore. I just want her back. How many times have you said that, Jimmy? Every time you drop Jackie in it, every time you get arrested, every time you go to prison, she could have been killed the other night with that shooting. And all you can say is, you've changed. But it's true, Val, I have. Honest. No more drugs. No more breaking the law. Can you look me in the eye and tell me that you're not still selling that muck? Cross my heart, I'm not. And how about you? Oh, this is stupid. I should be out looking for my wife and kid. Do you know where she's gone? To book a holiday. She wants time on her own. I think she's trying to get cancellation. Somewhere hot, sunny and away from you. She can't go away, not till I've talked to her. Look, I said I'll have a word with her. But I'm not promising anything. I think she's made up her mind. There you go, babes. Is that you, mate? Yeah. It's here, the letter from Keith. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait, God, over it. The suspense has been killing me. Just want to know when we can get out of here. He's crossed out. Hey, I've had everything crossed since it come through the door. <laughs> so what's he say? Hurry up! Yes. We can go. Yeah, he's back in Ankara this week. He can fix me up with a bar job and there's a two-bedroom apartment next door. Oh, at last we're going. I can't believe it. A job and a flat. Oh, good old kid. I own one for this. When can we go? I've got flat. Oh, oh. Hi, Lee. Katie, hi. Is this it? Yeah, thanks. What's that? Recipes for fat people, isn't it, Lee? 
Come on. Hey, nice envelope, Lee. Is it one of them Santa's ones? What's all that about? He left you some fan mail this morning, but you must have had second thoughts. He came to get it back. Oh, no, not a love letter. No, at least he battled out. And at least you didn't actually have to read it or reply to it. Oh, I've got enough problems without that. Why, what's up? Oh, you don't want to do you? Come on. You know that audition I went to at the weekend? No chance. That's four people who've knocked me back now. I'm never going to get another dancing job at this rate. You'll get something. Yeah, well, I'll have to. I'll never be able to pay me rent and bills and food otherwise. Stop panicking. You'll get something. Just keep trying, eh? We'll see. So, how'd you get on with the fella from the coroner's office? You tell me what killed Shane. He took a massive dose of pure heroin. I must have killed him almost instantly. And did you tell him about Jimmy Corkill? What's the point? I can't prove anything. And Corkill would just lie and lie to wriggle out of it. But something's got to be done to stop him from killing someone else. Lee, that you, look? Hiya. Hiya. Yeah, glad you've been home. Saves me writing your note about your tea. Listen, I've done your pie and potatoes. It's in the oven. Just needs warming up. You're going out again? What you mean, again? You're always going out. That's a bit OTT, isn't it? Anyway, I thought you might like a bit of time with this mysterious old woman of yours. Stop going on about that, will you? It was just a joke we had going in school. <laughs> anyway, you were out last night. Where are you going? Not just because your dad isn't here doesn't mean to say I can't have some sort of social life, love. Yeah, you mean you go in the bingo? I thought I might go round and see our mo, actually. You never seem to be in. When my dad was on late, we always used to watch the telly. Why'd you have to go home all the time? Look, I'll tell you what, love. Tomorrow night, we'll get a Chinese takeaway and a video. How about that? Just me and my favourite son. And why can't we do that tonight? I've already arranged to go out now. And I've already done your tea for later. Don't want that wasted, do I? Tomorrow, hey? I suppose so. Just wish you wouldn't lie to me when I know you go in the bingo. Well, I just came to see how my uh, daughter got on at physio. Oh, she did very well. Good. And I also wanted you to try Questo e Fettuccine Primavera. Mm, wow, it smells delicious. Mm -hmm. It's a pasta with a sauce of oil, yoghurt, low-fat cheese and a mixture of fresh spring vegetables. Mm. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, oh and uh, now, this is polenta with chicken livers and sage. It's, it's very filling, but it's very... Mmm. Mmm. You're not thinking of entering MasterChef, are you? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> not yet. But I have entered Grant's in the best restaurant in Merseyside competition. Mm. Oh, it's run by Mersey Night Out. You know, listing back. So, all we have to do is guess and spot our mystery diner. Well, do we get a description of our mystery diner? I mean, does he have a false beard or something like that? I mean, it would be kind of handy to know, wouldn't it? So you could butter him up. Oh, there's no need. I think you'll find that everyone gets top-class food and top-class service at Grant's. Patricia, I need you to um, help me with my PR strategy. Now, I want the restaurant to be different. I want it to be the place to be, because when we are officially the best restaurant on Merseyside... Max, I... you haven't won it yet. Darling, just think, this is just the beginning. Les Routiers, the good food guide. <laughs> Egon, eat your heart out. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there anywhere else you could be? We've been everywhere. You sound like you don't care. She's my only daughter, and Kyrie is my granddaughter. Don't you tell me I don't care. What am I going to do? What if they just disappear? Lindsay wouldn't do anything like that. And where is she, then? She must have left Liverpool. What if they'd gone to London or abroad or somewhere? Let's go inside, eh? He's just gone in with my dad. Do you think they're still selling drugs? Well, I'd Jack reckons it was death or them who supplied chain, but... I mean, they ought to go to court sooner or later. 
still can't believe Gary getting involved. I mean, selling heroin to kids when he's got a child of his own. Well, there's no need to worry about that anymore. We'll be out of here by Friday. Quick, get out of the kitchen. Hi, Mike. All right, Jack. That fella of Lindsay's just uh, melted across the clothes like he didn't care what he's done. Well, listen, don't go shouting your head about it now, eh? It's all right, Lindsay, it's only our Jack. Hiya. Mike was saying you went to meet Shane's mum and dad. How'd it go? Well, his dad seems to be coping, but his mum's destroyed. Such nice people as well. I feel really sorry for her. She's lost. And his dad's asked me to go to Australia for the funeral. All that way? Were you that serious with him? Yeah. But even if Mr Cochran hadn't asked me how's it gone, I was going anyway. Can you afford to? I mean, what about the salon and that? Well, the salon can do without me for a bit. I'll find the money. I might have been able to lend you a bit, but, um, well, we heard from Keith today. We're getting the tickets for Turkey tomorrow. I bet if things had been different, you'd been asking me for the money. <laughs> yeah, probably, but we should be OK. Probably be able to get jobs over there, won't we? Mm. Look, I'm really made up things are working out for you two. I know it's your family and everything, but you're well out of it, Lindsay. You're doing the right thing. Thanks, Jack. How much does a private detective cost? No idea. What do you want to privatise for? It's the only way I can think of finding Lindsay. I can't believe she's gone off with our Kylie and not told me where. All right, Val, come in, love. Then you know? Well, I haven't got Jackie with me. That's what you're hoping. Listen, uh, did you get a chance to speak to her? Very nice. Because he took all this mess before I could come and visit. Come on, Val. I'm on pins here, love. I'm sorry, Jimmy. I told her, but she's having none of it. She still won't believe that you've finished selling drugs. Oh, no. Well, maybe she's right. You're too hooked on the money and the nice house. Val, I'm not interested in the money. Not anymore. I just want her back. Come on, let's get round to your place. I need to talk to her. I'm sorry, Jimmy. She only sent me round for the uh, big suitcase and her summer clothes. She's going to Tenerife tonight. Tonight? Well, this is mad. Why won't you talk to me? Well, if you take my advice, you'll let her get off on holiday and have another try when she gets back. Can I go upstairs, then? I haven't got much time. Yeah, yeah, it's the back bedroom. Listen, now, do me a favour. Promise me you'll tell her I've changed. I'm clean. No more drugs, honest. Oh, I'll tell her, Jimmy. But it's up to you to prove it. She's convinced you've still got drugs here. Right, you. I want you to tell me where you've stashed the rest of that stuff. You don't need to know. For God's sake, can't you see? That stuff killed someone. I want it destroyed. It's nowhere near your property, so just forget about it. Eh? Oh, can I? Look, if you start selling that stuff again, you'll drag me down with you. I'll lose Jackie for good. I'm sorry, but I'm hanging on to it. It's all I've got behind me. Listen, when Jackie gets back from this trip, I am going all out to get her back. So as far as I'm concerned, this is a drugs-free zone. That's fine. Stewing your own guilt. Leave me alone. My conscience is clear, Jimmy. I'm hanging on to the stuff. I don't know how you can. After what we've done. After everything that's happened. Hiya, love. Hi. Just look at that. A one. Thirty smackaroos. I thought you said you were going to Mo's. Yeah, yeah, I was, but uh, Mo fancied a game of bingo. Listen, how would you fancy meeting me at dinner time tomorrow, eh? What for? Well, I feel a bit rotten going out and leaving you like this, so why don't I treat you? Hey, what about um, a new game for your computer? Hey? I'm not into them anymore, Mum. Well, what about one of them um, Faulty Towers videos you were on about? I'll get you that, hey? What do you reckon? You sure? Yeah, of course I'm sure. Oh, just look at that cash. 
Well, it isn't exactly the jackpot, is it? No, but it's the stars. Maybe I've had a change in my look. Maybe I'm just starting a winning streak. And how much did you have to spend to win that? Yep, a few quid, but... Well, put it this way. I had a free night out, and you get your videos. Right, do you fancy a sandwich, love? I've got two of your work shirts here. Thanks, love. They've not been ironed. I'll do them in the morning. You can call around for them, eh? That's all right. I'll take them now. I'm sorry. It's all right. No, I am. You don't have to leave. I just thought you wanted me out of here. I did. I do, but... You've got nowhere else to go. Don't be worrying about me, love. But I do. Well, I don't know. I just... I can't bear the thought of being here on my own. The single mum and all that. Well, I'll stay if you really want me to, love. What we did was wrong, but... I do want your friendship. Just friendship, nothing else. I want us to be like we used to be, father-in-law and daughter-in-law. We were good mates. We looked after each other. Sleeping together, that was immoral. Totally wrong. It's not going to happen again, so... If you can go along with that, you're welcome to stay. You know, that's what I want. Right, then. I suppose we both know where we stand, eh? Something to eat. Ta. Oh. How are you feeling? Okay, I suppose. I think you've been really strong through all this. Yeah, I don't feel strong. I feel terrible. I loved him, Casey. I loved him. I can't have him anymore. I should have done something when I found out she was taking drugs again. You can't say that, Jack. I mean, what could you have done? He was an addict. He was trying to stop. He had stuff for a year. He was trying. But it's the pushers. They just won't leave people alone. But what can the police do? They catch them, and the courts just let them off. I'm going to get that Jimmy Corkill. I'm going to make sure everyone knows exactly what he's done. I'm going to make sure that murderer never gets the chance to kill anyone else. <laughs> 